according to your model so my model support the lightning cable so i will use that if your model support the engineering cable you can use according to that now after that you can just click on the serial check on the tool after that you will see you have to change the serial number to the given serial number now copy that serial number and paste it somewhere else now next you need to select the second option that is the purple pro now just tap on that and it will download some file so it will take around 2-3 minutes to download some software on your desktop automatically for the purple mode so make sure that your internet is good Now once you see downloaded, after that just click on OK and you will see one package will automatically download on your desktop that is the purple pro tool. Now double click on that, extract it. Now there is another button last without DSDC cable for the A10 and A11 device. If you have that device just select on that and if you have a different device like iPhone 6s, 6s plus and iPhone SC first generation. You just need to open the purple mode directly and change your serial number but i have a iphone 7 that is compatible with the without dcsd cable method so i will select that option after that open the purple mode now you will see this tool now first you need to put your device into the dfu mode to make your device into the purple mode so that's the first step so let me just put my device into the dfu mode you can use the check run patch for it or else if you know how to put your device into dfu mode directly so you can put that so let me just first put my device into the dfu mode and then i will show you what are the further steps now once your device into the dfu mode you can select that option it will put your device into the purple mode and if you see that exploit failed error you just need to close the hfz tool and just click on that and run again and this time you will see it sending the ibs file and your device will get into the purple mode you will see different kind of color so now we are set in the purple mode now click on the edit option after that it will open one window that will help you to edit the serial number now one another window will open and you will get so many options there so don't get confused you need to select the incoming port as the usb serial from that list by default it will show the bluetooth incoming port but you have to select the usb serial after you select that just click on the connect button and then read the device info and you will see all your device information and the serials now we need to place that serial number we have just copied from the tool and after that put the right button now done we have successfully write the serial number now click on the reboot to the ios version after that you will see your device will automatically reboot or you can reboot it manually also now you can close this purple mode after that you need to put your device into dfu mode so you can see the serial number has been and if serial number is not changed you can try again put in purple mode and redo the serial number right after that open the hfz tool again now before we boot our device into the dfu mode and then do sh check we have to check the serial number so click on the serial check now you can see it showing done previously it's showing change your serial number to that serial number but i have changed the serial number now you can see it's showing done that means the serial number has been changed and tool is detected the new serial number now you need to put your device into the dfu mode you can put from the check print patch app or if you know how to put your device into dfu mode directly you can put from the button combination as well so i will put my device directly to the dfu mode so this step is up to you if you feel easy to put the device into dfu mode from the check print patch app you can do that and if you want to directly put your device into dfu mode and you feel that easy you can also do that now the device is into the dfu mode and tool is also detected that next now i have already registered my device so just click on boot it will boot your device with the checkmate exploit if the boot option is not working you can select the boot second option and then click on boot now you can see the device has been successfully exploited now it will send the ram disk file and the other important stuff into your device so make sure that your internet speed is good with connect with a fast wi-fi so it will take around 5 to 10 minutes or sometimes more according to your speed 
now you can see the device is booted now now next you will see the ssh check just click on that now the ssh also connected now click on ok now this time you will see is 15 hello no signal is reflected now just click on that and wait for your device to boot up you will also get your prompt that your device is completely successful so you can see that i have successfully bypassed my device now your device is getting boot and it will reboot your device now it's on again now simply set up your device connect with the wi-fi and just follow the instructions all right guys we are on our data in the privacy page we have successfully bypassed our device now let me just set up the device and then I will show you the further steps. So now you can see on the screen we are on our latest iOS 15 and we have successfully bypassed this device without check rain jailbreak. So it's very amazing you can see we have completed the method and there is no Apple ID bound in the setting. So you can use your own Apple ID account as this bypass method support the iCloud login and other iServices. So now let me just show you that the, everything is working. So now you can see that the iCloud login is perfectly working. You can also use the FaceTime Siri or App Store. Now the FaceTime is also working. And if you want to download the apps, you can try the App Store. It will also work. Now let's check out the Siri. Hey Siri, open the maps. So in short, all the eye services will work except the SIM card. The SIM card will not work in this method. Now this method is completely unthreaded method. Like if you reboot the device, it will not lock again. So it's completely unthreaded method. So now you can see everything is good after the reboot also. So that's how you can use this method and easily bypass the iCloud activation lock screen without jailbreak on the iPhone 6s to iPhone X. And I hope you gain some knowledge with this video for that.